Dad, I came home from school, Dad, and I caught my mum dead. <laughs> Sitting on the settee, Dad, with the milkman, Dad. They was kissing and cuddling, Dad, all afternoon, Dad. I said, don't tell me now, son. Tell me tonight when we're watching television and your mother's there. He said, I will, Dad. So we're sitting watching television. He said, I got something to tell you, Dad. I said, what is it, son? He said, I came home from school, Dad. And I caught my mum, Dad, sitting on the settee, Dad, with the milkman, Dad. They was kissing and cuddling, Dad, all afternoon, Dad. Just like you with me, Auntie Margaret, when my mum was in hospital. <laughs> I'm walking down the road today, and a big fellow walked towards me. Got a big tulip hanging out of his lapel right past his kneecap. He said, hello, you. I said, hello. He said, if you can tell me what this is hanging out of my lapel right past my kneecap. He said, you can kiss me. I said, it's a cabbage. <laughs> he said, that's near enough. Hey, me. Have you ever been sitting in the house and somebody knocks on your door just when you're watching the television and the important part's coming up? And you hear bang, bang, bang on the door. You think, who's that now? I opened the front door. There's a fellow there. I said, what do you want? He said, have you got a vacuum? I said, no, I haven't, I said, but I've got a little you bank. <laughs> After that, he took the big bag of soot over my front hall carpet. He said, hey, hey, hey. I said, what you doing? He said, don't worry about the soot. He said, I've got a vacuum here, it's magic. I said, it better be, we've had the electric cut off two weeks. <laughs> one bloke, listen, the doctor said to this one bloke, he says, I've got some bad news for you. And some very bad news for you. He said, He said, what's the bad news? Doctor says, you've only got 24 hours to live. He said, what's the very bad news? He said, I should have told you yesterday. <laughs> this fellow with the doctor, he said, doctor, I lost my wooden leg. He said, I'm stumped without it. <laughs> <laughs> so the doctor gave him another one. So he come out the next day. He said, I've lost my second wooden leg. He said, I'm stumped, we had it. So I went again. He come back the next day, three days on the up. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Doctor, I've lost my wooden leg again. So he gave him another one. He come back the next day, the doctor said, You're getting no more wooden legs, I've tumbled you. You're making a coffee table. <laughs> went to the hospital yesterday. I said to this one woman in the one bed, I said, when are you expecting your baby? She said, the 9th of July. I said, so the one when you expecting yours? She said, the 9th of July. I said, so the one when you expecting your baby? She said, the 9th of July. I said, what about this woman here? She said, no good asking her. I said, this one asleep? She said, oh, it's no good asking her. She never come on our coach trip. <laughs> I had a puncher. I was changing the wheel. This bloke walked over, lifted me bonnet, started taking me battery off. I said, hey, what you doing? He said, listen, pal, if you're having the wheels, I'm having the battery. He said away driving his car and a copper stopped him. This copper said, can I have a word with you, sir? He said, certainly, officer. He said, you know you've got no lights in the back of your car? He said, I have. He said, you haven't. He said, I have. He said, you haven't. <laughs> he said, I have. I could pay for this. <laughs> he said, you haven't. He said, I have got lights on the back of my car. The copper said, come and have a look. So we took him to the back of the car. The bloke looked at the back of the car and started crying. He went, oh. The copper said, don't cry. He said, it's only a ball. But he said, I'm not crying because of that. He said, where's my caravan? <laughs> he said, every time you read the paper, there's burglaries, 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 robberies. I was walking down the street and this elephant run past me, smashed his trunk against his jeweler's window and smashed, and he sucked all the rings and watches up his trunk and took off. And this copper came up to me. He says, uh, he said, did you see what happened here? I said, yeah. He said, what happened? I said, you're not going to believe this. He <laughs> said, what happened? I said, I said, an elephant run past me, smashed his trunk against his jeweler's window, sucked all the rings and watches up his trunk and took off. He said, an elephant. I said, yes. <laughs> he said, it wasn't. <laughs> I said, it was. <laughs> he said, it wasn't. I said, it wasn't. <laughs> He said, well, what's he look like? <laughs> I said, what do you mean, what's he look like? He said, well, was he an Indian elephant or an African elephant? He said, well, what's the difference? 
You say, well, an Indian elephant has got little ears and an African elephant has got big ears. Oh, I said, I couldn't tell you that. He said, why not? I said, he had a stocking over his head. <laughs>